What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One eye bride back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 8. We got some news and discussion about Norman Reedus speaking out about Carl Season 8 and the future of The Walking Dead. Obviously, spoiler warning, if you're not up to date of the show, you don't know this information and you don't know what's going on with Carl as of Season 8. So let's talk about Norman Reedus and Andrew Lincoln a little bit. They talked about what is the future of The Walking Dead and they got to be careful of certain things because of... The writing on the show but before we get to that guys if you can hit that subscribe button to help us achieve our goal of a hundred thousand subscribers we post videos every day about the walking dead and various content and stay in the know by getting notifications and being a member of our walking dead family at the pt channel and our walking dead community we love the walking dead talking about the walking dead and the fans of the walking dead so hopefully you'll be a member of our walking dead family now norman reedus plays daryl dixon on the show and he's a beloved character by many not all not everyone loves daryl dixon for some reason but either way, Norman Reedus had a lot to say about the future of the show, season eight, Carl Grimes, and what it is. So let's talk about it a little bit. Norman said, I was desperately unhappy about that, he told Entertainment Weekly. Norman also said, I've seen Chandler grow up from a little boy. I've known that kid so long, and it always hurts when you lose a family member on the show. I always thought Chandler would be the last man standing, to be honest. A lot of people thought that he would be the last man standing, but to me, Daryl Dixon will be the last man standing for a variety of reasons. We have videos on that, but Chandler Riggs will not be because in episode 809, when it comes back in February, that will be his last episode on the show. The memory, the future of Carl Grimes is not going to be of a character, but probably his legacy going forward. It's a shame, but the writers decided to do this for some reason. Some people are giving up after the show because of this situation. Episode 809 might be the last for a lot of people to watch. Hopefully people don't give up on it. I know I won't, but Chandler Riggs is not going to be on the show anymore. Hopefully we'll find out what happened down the road. It may be a book or something, but Chandler Riggs is a good guy. He does a lot of good things, and his acting definitely improved over the years of playing Carl Grimes on the show. He became a better actor for it. And some of his best acting was probably in season eight. And it's probably going to be in episode 809. But he won't be the last man standing on the show. Maybe in the comic. I would love to see that myself. Old man Carl theory still can possibly happen on the comic, but not the show. Now, Andrew Lincoln talked with Entertainment Weekly about the seismic shift this loss means to the show. This is uncharted waters for the show, he said. Loosening and untethering us from a lot of the story in the comic is one really interesting way of moving the story forward and perhaps we can look at a bigger story outside of the one that we've been focusing on for eight years. Norman said, the people that started this show to me are the heart of the show. Rita said, when you lose those key members, it's such a big blow to the show and to the fans and to us that are there. Who's left? There's only a few of us left out of those people. If you wanted to turn it into a totally different show, you get rid of those people. But if you want to hold on to what made the show special, you got to be very careful with what you do with those people. And I understand that totally. I agree with Norman Reedus' line right there. But there's only four people left as of right now because Carl's still alive. But Rick, Carol, Daryl, and Carl are the original four. Then you have Morgan but after this season, Morgan's going to be on Fear of the Walking Dead. So you definitely only have three people left on The Walking Dead for season nine. That's if they survive the rest of season eight. Carol might not. I doubt Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus will ever be off the show. Maybe down the road and many more seasons. But season nine of The Walking Dead is happening. It got renewed for another season. Can't wait for that. The news for that should be coming out more and more about contracts and negotiations and where that's coming for. But let's talk about episode 809 in February. It should be a great episode. The writers are saying that it's going to give us some closure of the Carl situation. I don't know if that's true for a lot of people. It might not ever be closure for that because they're going to be unhappy with the situation that's going around. But Chandler Riggs has said that his legacy is going to live on. And if you're going to give up on the show because of this one death... I don't really understand that because The Walking Dead, anyone is able to die at any time, they say. This is a big loss. Glenn, Abraham, Sasha, they were big losses. But the show continues on, and hopefully the fans and the viewers stay with it. We got Morgan and Carol still around. Like I said, Morgan is not going to be on The Walking Dead after Season 8. So whether he his character dies or he leaves or what happens, Carol should still be there. I don't see her ever getting killed either. But Morgan would be gone off The Walking Dead at the end of Season 8. 
so he's not going to be on there. We only have three people left, whether you agree with it or not. Hopefully it just makes sense. I like the idea of Morgan between the two shows. I think it can work. I think it can be a good bridging point between the two shows. And then ultimately, Morgan can come back with some of the Fear the Walking Dead cast. Not all of them by any means. I don't think that should happen. But there is some people that could come from Fear the Walking Dead to the Walking Dead in a time jump. I think it would make sense. Only time will tell what the writers want to do. I think they want to have the Walking Dead universe going year round if they could, but a lot of the months they got to have breaks between there and filming and everything. But ultimately, we're getting less and less main characters, original characters on the show. And that's a problem. The cast of The Walking Dead is huge right now. And we're losing people that we shouldn't be losing in my eyes. We, like, we shouldn't have lost Carl. We should have lost Jared or this one or that one or smaller characters or these saviors. I mean, come on, guys. Get rid of some of the saviors, not main characters like this. Doesn't make sense to me. But I agree with Norman Reedus. I wasn't upset about the Carl death. I knew some of it was happening and coming from the spoilers that were going around. So I was expecting something could possibly happen. But I don't agree with Chandler Riggs and Carl Grimes being off the show. The writers did another thing to hurt the show and not help it in my eyes. What do you think, guys? Give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter. We're at the PT channel. We post up there all the time. Funny pics, videos, information, stuff like that. Social media on Facebook. The Walking Dead community Facebook page and a group, a PT channel page, a Walking Dead mystery boxes page. $38 gets you a mystery box, free shipping. There's nothing like it going around, guys. Other mystery boxes are way more expensive. You're not going to get stuff like this for the price that we put out. Free shipping involved. Just check around. If you want, to, if you want one, let me know. If not, hopefully down the road. $38 free shipping gets you six to seven items, but I've been putting more than that in there too. Fight for Us, my book series, is going very good, going very strong, and I'm wrapping up book five as we speak. It should be out next week. I got a couple spots left, really like one spot left for book six. $15 to $25 donation gets you in the book series. It's filling up pretty good with people that want to be in it, guys. We're running out of spots because I can't put everybody in it. It's got to make sense for the storyline of Ryan, Sean, Matt, and Phil. Four books available now as we speak. Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Kindle versions. Start the series now because we're going to have book five and six and seven. It's going to be a big series down the road of a zombie apocalypse. You'll definitely like it if you love The Walking Dead. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts of the video, the books, and all that stuff. Thanks, guys.